Okay, this is a video about uh, uh, this uh, white man. It was called white man, but now it's being sold under another brand on Amazon. Uh, this is the white man trainer, I believe. Uh, the box came like this. I still have it. But now, as like almost all Chinese uh, made uh, uh, garbage scales uh, for $20 or less. Uh, this one came in like in this box white man trainer i used to like uh the jump pro uh 250 which was uh, an excellent one until um uh, became uh defective or broken i'm not certain at that time what it was but they bought it back from me they replaced the first one and they uh um uh, they uh bought it back because it had the lifetime warranty okay so um, this is a weight calibration that came with this guy okay which I like a lot back to this one I take this one and I I'm using the battery uh, power and not the USB power from a UPS system okay so this is has been warmed up for like 10 minutes and then uh, I, I, I use this one to uh, 50 grams to zero it okay so the purpose actually with uh, uh, the scales is to make it repeatable uh, accurate it says it does not uh, drift and if you drift when you put something on the scale remove it okay it should come back to the same value okay this is repeatability okay for accuracy for those scales you really are within plus minus uh, 0 0.02 grain, which are like uh, two kernels of Vargat or something like that. So very minute uh, difference they can have, okay? Uh, uh, drifting is more uh, of a problem than the resolution. Uh, but this one is stable actually, okay? I have a set of weight. I think also those are Chinese garbage, but anyway, we can use them. They are not like uh, 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 industrial grade with certification. Okay, we can put this one here. Okay, and see what it is. This will read 20, 20 uh, uh, grains exact. Okay, so take another one. And this will read the same. Okay. Now, uh, of course, we can put the 50 again. So let us pick small ones, okay, and see how they read. Okay, this is five grain, fantastic. Okay, let us start adding stuff together, see if they scale correctly. And some people will say, now I'm adding uh, uh, grains, uh, 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 sorry, grams, and not grains, and they are, uh, uh, um, to the correct value so we can now do something else to make sure and uh, they are not okay so by adding another one okay now we are off by uh, seven uh, seven milligrams off okay maybe because I put it to the side okay I just need to put it to the back to the center okay okay now we are off by five milligrams out of nine uh, nine uh, nine grams so that's like uh, less than 0 0.5 per uh, uh, per uh, uh, thousand less than 0 0.5 per per thousand per, per ten thousand actually okay uh, because we have here a 10 okay so uh, let me remove this one. Okay, the other one is number two, maybe. Okay, so this is seven. We can change this one. Maybe it uh, it has dust or something on it. I don't know. Okay, and this one also have uh, uh, back to back to eight grams. Okay, so now what we need to do is get something uh, like a weight or how we can use it, right? Okay. We're gonna put those back here. Okay. 
they call them class one i believe those things and this is like the opposite way anyway we'll fix it later and let, uh, now let us see if i put a scale, uh, something like this one okay where we put powder usually on and see how much it read in uh grains also in grains yes you'll notice something that i did uh, is that uh, i am uh, uh, leveling this uh, th this uh, scale is very very important okay there is a here the bubble i keep it all the time uh, leveled and if you touch it it does not uh, uh, wiggle okay S staying not wiggling is uh, very important because this scale is very very light okay so it's best to keep those when you touch them they don't like go left and right up and down okay so this is one, uh, 136 grain this one if i zero it tar okay now it's zero now the idea is if i remove it it should go to back to minus 36 grains okay and when i put when i remove it it should go back to zero okay so here again this is about testing repeatability okay now i'm gonna try it again here and i try to see if it's drifting or not okay so 136 okay put it back zero remove it okay it is it's now off by 0 0.02 grain which is one kernel if i put it it will zero again this is about repeatability okay again it's shifting back to exactly 13600 or if i put it back it will go back to zero okay so uh, repeatability is in with one grain of vargat which is super small it cannot get better okay this guy um it will do similar with dispensing too but the beauty about this guy it has calibration for the dropping of the powder too where it will learn how to drop and slow so you don't get overcharging or undercharging it's an excellent one it has also a, a wi-fi link or actually a bluetooth link to my lab to my cell phone where i can program uh, uh the loads the load name say dispense this and so on okay i don't use it right now but it's a super nice one to have i'm not using it okay i keep writing on a piece of paper uh, what loads i want and stuff like that i use uh, gr tools too uh, where i can it prints for me the load and all the uh the parameters i'm using for that load but this one is an excellent one too go back to this one now people will say hey can you add something small and see if it's repeatable okay so we're gonna grab something like like this one okay okay i dropped something here which is a 12 uh 0.94 grains on this one on this scale so let us remove it okay it went back 136 0 uh, 2 grains okay 0 0.02 grains put it back it will go to back uh to 1294 okay again back to the plus minus one kernel if i put it back it will be go 1282 okay remove it okay now it's now it's just shifting more because we are off by uh, uh, 0.1 grains so we're gonna do this again okay tar it and remove it yeah this is good okay now let us do this actually what i do so it won't drift is that i put this outside and take it here and place it okay so this is a 12.9 exact so the trick put the put the powder uh, not when it's on the scale but outside the scale okay 
and this is how I use it. Okay, here out, and this is uh, again back. Okay, and twelve point nine four. So it's perfectly repeatable and and scalable. As for drifting, if you start maybe adding a little powder, a little powder at the same time. Okay, what happens is that it tries to adjust it with the software inside this uh, um, uh, scale will think, hey, I'm drifting, I'm drifting, I need to adjust, I need to adjust, okay? Uh, so it does not mess up your, uh, uh, um, uh, how shall I say it? It would either, all the time try to zero before you weigh, zero before weigh. So if it, if it, if there's if the software think oh I'm drifting I need to compensate for that okay so the idea is not to confuse the software and do not drop little grains at the same time by uh, using let's say uh, uh, a powder powder uh, uh, trickler for example on top of it you you take it off add whatever you want as a, as a as a start and you put it back then you start trickling when when that's close to zero okay. So this is the trick with those uh, scales. And thank you for watching, and I hope you like it and uh, enjoy this video. If you like my channel, my videos, please subscribe and uh, like. Thank you.